What's up, Jeff Fox and fellas? It's me, Eric Lehmer, again. Yes, right, coming at you with another episode of the show formerly known as The People's Lima, but it's now known as TVL. Episode 670, ladies and gentlemen. Hope y'all having a wonderful, had a wonderful day despite the weather out here in your local area. It's kind of ucky out there. Heard some, heard somebody, some, a few people got some snow all over the country. Best of luck to you. You know, drive safely, please. You know, make sure everybody's okay and all that. At least you got snow before Christmas. <laughs> That's a good thing for you. All right, I'm going back to the old TPL board here. TPL Blackboard. And I've got another top 10 list for you. Yes, I do have another top 10 list. I'm not David Letterman, so I can't do the top 10 list jokes that he does. He's pretty much an expert at him. That's his that's his thing, but even though he's retired. But this is more like a top 10 list. A top 10 list of top 10 arcade games that should have been on consoles. You know, nowadays you get to play them on the I get to play these games on a computer, you know. And and just it's really, really cool. But, uh, with the exception of the bottom of the ten of ten and nine, the others are mostly Capcom arcade games. Capcom, I don't know what they're thinking because the royalties and all that good stuff. They, the system, um, systems that they put it on should have been flying off the shelves at this rate, you know, if they had these games on here. But that's okay. We're going to do this. We're going to do this right. Here are my top 10 arcade games that should have been on consoles. There they, there they are. Let's start with number with number 10. And uh, Ninja Baseball Batman for, for Data East. Um, it's, uh, it's something that... Um, it, it's it's something that uh, <laughs> uh, it's like a side-scrolling fighting game with uh, monsters that look like baseballs. But it's a funny. I wa I saw some videos of it on YouTube. I'm like, this is a pretty cool game. How come we didn't get this? You know, I didn't, how come I didn't get a chance to play this? So Ninja Baseball Batman. Ninja Baseball, Ninja Baseball, 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 Batman. Batman. It's, it's not like you get the Batman theme song. Boom. You got Ninja Baseball, Batman. You know? That's what you should have done. All right. Number nine is Kabuki Clash. Far East of Eaton's. It's a one-on-one -on -one fighting game by SNK, Neo Geo. And uh, I don't know why some of these guys weren't involved in the Neo Geo Battle Coliseum game. That they got. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Number eight, um, Capcom's one-on-one -on -one fighting game in a different realm of Red Earth. Now, Red Earth, um, some of its fighters were involved in the Capcom fighting evolution, which, you know, I think it didn't turn out too well. We we're hoping that Cap the Capcom fighting evolution would be like Marvel vs. Capcom, X-Men Street Fighter, switch partners, do super moves and, uh, and all that, but that wasn't the case, but I kept it anyways. And uh, some of the fighters like Hauser, um, Hydron, Kenji, and Kenji were in the game as well, and Leo. We're in the Capcom Fighting Evolution, but the whole game of Red Earth, I saw it on YouTube. Pretty cool, all right? Another Capcom Fighting game has um, made the list at number seven. Ring of Destruction Saturday Night Slam Masters 2. Um, Slam Masters 2, um, I'll tell you what. I saw. I got Slam Masters 1. Um, they added a few more fighters for Slam Masters 2. And uh, I think this game should have come out. It was, it was it's a more like a Street Fighter feel now. The Street Fighter was getting was catching fire, so they did the second sequel to Slam Master too, like that. All right, number six is another Capcom game. Actually, number five is not a Capcom game. I'll explain to that. Armored Warriors. It's more like uh, you know, it's like it's like Final Fight with robots, basically. That's what it was, and I liked it, so I played it. I think I beat it too. So, Armored Warriors would. It's really, really cool. So, uh, so Armor Warriors comes in at number six. Number five is a Data East side-scrolling beat 'em up. It's like Doc Stalker's meeting Final Fight. It's Night Slashers. You get to fight. You, you're you're one of three fighters who, who are chosen to defend the Earth against defend the universe against this King Demon, and you. But you have to go by you know a puppet master and his puppet, you know, a, a, a mad scientist, a Frankenstein, a vampire. Uh, a ghosted knight, a mummy, uh, Aztec warriors, uh, werewolves, zombies, all that crap, and even the Grim Reaper himself, and a rock golem to try to save the earth. And it's a pretty cool, I saw it, I played it a couple of times, I scored high, 
on it on the Internet Arcade, but they, you know they took it off. They took it off. Data East uh, started to be in, in brats about it. So uh, you know, I wonder why these corporations be total brats. I mean, yeah, you want money, yeah, you want money. Get put these, you know, allow these games on. They make you know, the company that makes uh, the company that makes the systems make money, and then they'll help you make money. You know, like I don't know why corporations are so stupid. That's why I hate corporations and executives because they're from the they're dumber than a bag of rocks. Let me tell you. Um, so uh, let's continue on. Um, number four, another side-scrolling beat 'em up from pa from Capcom: Alien versus Predator. Uh, I I like you know you choose one three you the Predator Hunter, Predator Warrior, uh, Major Schaefer, and Lieutenant Lin Kurosawa. Uh, you choose them, one of them to um, fight the Alien Queen and defeat her, and that's all you need to do. And uh, all right, another side-scrolling beat 'em up by Marvel, which I think this guy should be in the game, The Punisher. In the Marvel vs. Capcom games, the Punisher should be in the game as well. You know, you try to go after, uh, I think the guy's name is Bruno Costa, I believe. I, I got look at that, look that up, and then Bruno Costa gets shot, and then, uh, you get the guard boy, that means you have to go after the, the Kingpin behind everything. So, battle the Kingpin, and, uh, Kingpin's a big dude, trust me. He should be in, in the Marvel vs. Capcom games. And my, like, when I talk about Marvel vs. Capcom, for, all right, number two. Another side scrolling beat em up is Battle Circuit. Um, very unique. It's sort of like um, Captain Commando ish. And I played Captain Commando. And it's sort of like Captain Commando. The only difference is to get bounty hunters to try to uh, stop um, stop uh, Pluto from taking over the universe with the Shiva system. That's the, 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 one of my favorite games to play. Get all sorts of weird characters into the game. And the number one game, that sh arcade game that should have been on console Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. Really, really cool game. I like it. Um, you get to, you get to uh, defend against dino uh, defend the dinosaurs against poachers and and just um, you get, and just you know you, you fight you, you fight the poachers. You fight the mad scientist Dr. Simon Fessenden who transforms to a dinosaur. You have to defeat him to win. That's sim basically simple as that. Well, that is it. For the top ten arcade games, like I, I can play some of those games online. Some I can't. You probably have to download them and you know, use ROMs and uh, you know and get all all sorts of cool systems and all that. So that's uh, I'm hoping that's you know that happens. All right, uh, that's all the time we have on the show. Remember, guys, use your heads, don't do stupid things. And remember, respect and love one another. In the world full of ninjas, be a samurai. And if you're having a bad day, I use scream Leroy Jenkins or you can get. You can take the bad. Take the. Take a look at the bad day. Grab a pad and pen and tell that bad day, they just made the list. All right. See you guys later, and I will see you on the next episode of the show. And uh, hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the night. And uh, God bless. You.